Briggs, who is a 6'8", 270-pound monster and the last holder of the Evolve Championship. He debuted, debuted in late 2016. Briggs defeated Austin Theory to win the Evolve title back in November of last year. Brandy Lauren is a 23-year-old from Tampa, Florida, who's been used as an extra on WWE shows over the past few months. She also likes long walks on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> she was trained by Jay Lethal and made her debut in 2016. Lauren also worked on some tapings for Impact Wrestling in 2017 and 2018. Also in 2018, Lauren worked on NXT tapings in a loss to Lacey Evans. New England area wrestler Anthony Green has also been signed by WWE. Green is an eight-year pro who was trained by Spike Dudley and Ryan Waters. Well, he ain't going on. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the seven-year pro out of Texas, Kurt Stallion. Woo! He's had matches with several wrestlers now signed to WWE while in Evolve. He's also wrestled the likes of Jake Atlas, Dexter Loomis, and Matt Seidel in the promotion. And rounding this out, former Evolve referee Jake Clemens. PW Insider reports that Jake Clemens is the final talent from Evolve <laughs> that is expected to be signed by WWE at this time. I read what I say. <laughs> Sometimes you got to think one step ahead, Pasty. <laughs> one step ahead. Because uh, oh, if you but, don't, you're likely to get injured. Yes. And then you'll wind up in next week's injury report. We don't want that. No. Because we end that off with the end of the show because for some reason people's pain seems to be a good thing to stop the show with. It grinds it to a halt. It does. That really grinds <laughs> my gears. WWE announced during Raw that Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, suffered a torn tricep during the win with son Dominic Mysterio over Seth Rollins and Murph Dirt at Sunday's WWE. Pay me back for that fucking month I paid of my subscription because this wasn't worth the pay-per-view. Correct. Ray was pulled from his singles match with Rollins on this week's Raw and replaced by Dominic. But there had been some speculation on this being another storyline injury for Ray. You mean the eyeball wasn't real? Say it ain't so! What about getting thrown off a roof? Don't tell me that that... Uh, Dave Meltzer is reporting that the injury is legitimate and did occur during the tag team match at Payback on Sunday night, although it is not thought to be as serious as a full tear, which is the next AEW pay-per-view title. Full tear! <laughs> <laughs> which would require surgery. Word going around Monday's Raw was that Mysterio is expected to be out of action for two months or maybe less. He will reportedly be able to recover through rehab and reportedly will not need surgery. Dominic did okay on his own, I'm saying. I'm there saying. And I was the first one to fucking throw shit on him. If well, you haven't pasty, seen it, go check that out. I tell you what. COVID-19 is a jabroni. Just ask The Rock Dwayne Johnson, who recently took to Instagram to reveal that he, his wife Lauren, and his two daughters had all tested positive for the COVID-19. In a video from Johnson, he opened the video by sharing the shocking news, calling their diagnosis, quote, one of the most challenging and difficult things they've ever had to go through. Many due to the fact that, mainly due to the fact that his family also contracted the virus. Thankfully, Johnson said that everyone in the family seems to be through the worst of it. Testing positive for COVID-19 is a lot different than recovering from nasty injuries, getting evicted, or being broke, which I've been more than a few times, he said. My number one priority is to always protect my family and my loved ones. I wish it was only me that tested positive. It was my entire family... And it was a kick in the gut. We in a family. And he sold it like a champ. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> we as a family are good. We're on the other end of it and no longer contagious. Thank God we're healthy. 
Johnson said that thankfully his two children didn't have much more than a sore throat, but the Johnson and his wife had a more difficult time through it. Well, Dwayne said that he and his family are through the worst of it. He also took time to acknowledge those who were less fortunate and said that he knows many people who have lost loved ones to this virus. Kevin Nash was one of many to react to Rock's news about COVID-19 and use that as a platform to share his own experience with the virus. Posting the following in response, Welcome to the team. Very sorry your family's infected. I didn't cover my cough and I feel very bad. (laughs) I was tired for a while, didn't train for the fourth day. My wife still hasn't got smell or tastes back. Son was asymptomatic. Pray you heal up quickly. Thank you for making people realize it's real. It's damn real. Nothing says the virus is real by Hollywood celebrity saying, I got the virus. I rolled my eyes as well when Tom Hanks came down with it. Like, okay, then go through it like a normal person. Don't make a fucking huge deal out of it. You know, I don't know. But one guy who I don't, you know what? No, that's wrong. I was going to say hasn't been in a movie, but he has been I don't been think in a movie. I'd get along Just with AJ Styles. That's something I've learned in 2020. Like, we couldn't <laughs> sit in a room and have a conversation. Okay. Yeah. Out of nowhere, but rock on. Um, AJ Styles shared that he also contracted the virus as well, noting, I also tested positive a couple of weeks ago. It might have been almost a month ago. I feel for people who have to deal with this. But in my experience with it, I got to say, I didn't have many problems with it. Styles added that he had a headache but never had fever and condi- and considers himself lucky. He said he hopes that The Rock and his family are safe and that they get through this quickly. Yeah, I mean, he's a denier, but he's also a flat earther and yeah, yeah. everything else. He's Let's just let's just call a spade a spade here, Pasty. He's a, uh, he's a religious uh, 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 Christian. And those people are just like that for some yep. reason. Yep. We don't know why, but they are. Uh, it's a cult. Those evangelicals, <laughs> if you will. Um, anything that's scientific, they, they think can't exist. But things that there's no proof of existing have to exist. Yeah, Styles, I think, is, is one of the one of the big reasons why I wish, like, kayfabe was more serious and, like, you didn't get to know what a wrestler was like outside of the career. <laughs> right. Because he's awesome in the ring. That's it. <laughs> but he sounds, yeah, he's very ignorant when you, uh, when you, when he lets his beliefs out. Yeah. Oh. Pacey, uh, we made it to another two-hour show, Loke. Yes. And we ended the show by chopping down AJ Styles for his beliefs. Sometimes Victory for Pasty. <laughs> That is 2020 in a nutshell, is it not, Pasty? (laughs) What a way to end. Oh, right. (laughs) Folks, all I got to say is uh, go to bed, get some good rest, drink water, stay hydrated, and in the morning, get up, brew some coffee, and have yourself some jabronis for breakfast. Yes, indeed. Because that's what The Rock is cooking. <laughs>